Biotic Dab DQ. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Gabe's to here. Today we're doing another Monk solo guide. This is for Halfus Wormbreaker in Bastion of Twilight and Ten Man. So I'm Brewmaster Spect, uh, which is common, and I level 503 for this video. You can see the talents that I'm using there. Now, technically, I'm not actually using all these talents in the video, but that's because I just forgot to swap them. Uh, this is the setup that I would use if I was planning ahead properly. So the main thing, I, I don't have healing elixirs, um, which would be nice for the extra heals, and I don't have the tiger pet, which would be good for the DPS. The other two level 90 talents aren't really useful. Uh, but yeah, this fight isn't all that difficult. Um, so let's just rewind and we'll get started with the walkthrough. So before you begin the poll, you should consider which of the five drakes you have activated for your particular raid. As you may recall, three of the five drakes are randomly selected every raid week, and those will be active, and depending on the three, change the dynamics and the abilities for the fight. So in this case, it doesn't really matter which ones you get, except if you have the Nether Scion. If you have the Nether Scion active, then the fight is significantly more difficult. It's still not very hard, um, but it does make it more challenging. If you don't have the Nether Scion, you can just basically activate all three drakes at the same time and just AE everything down and cackle your way to victory. But if you have the Nether Scion, you have to be more careful. Now the reason for this is that the Nether will apply a buff to Halfus for the fight called Frenzied Assault. And this increases Alphys' attack damage by 120%. And this is dangerous because he will also use the Malevolent Strikes ability. Uh, this is a stacking healing reduction debuff on the player. And it increases he or reduces healing by 6% per stack. And this can go up to 15 stacks. And this connects... Uh, or applies a stack every time a melee hit connects, pretty much. So the reason that attack speed is so dangerous, obviously, is because this will go up very quickly when Halfus is attacking 120% faster. So if you do have the Nether Scion, and therefore Malevolent Strikes will be an issue, uh, I suggest taking it easy. You'll want to attack the Nether first by itself, and once it dies, then Halfus will or actually once you just activate it really, uh, Halfus will attack slightly slower and have a, a reduced hit chance. So less likely that you'll get a Malevolent Strike stack. Once the Nether Scion is, is dead, you can activate this, the next Drakes. So in this case, I'm doing the Sleet because it will apply a stun effect to Halfus every once in a while. And then again, that just reduces the um, chance that Malevolent Strikes will stay active on me. And then finally, whatever Drake is remaining, other than those two, is the least important. And as I said, if you don't have the Nether Scion in your setup, then it doesn't matter a whole lot which order you do or how often you grab them or anything like that. It's it's all pretty easy. Now, one thing you should be careful about is that you don't get Halfus too low before you finish all the Drakes off. Uh, if Halfus reaches 50%, he will sort of enter a second phase where he has a new ability called Furious Roar. And this is not all that dangerous when it's just you and Halfus. There you can see he's casting now. Um, it just stuns you over and over for about four or five seconds total. But obviously if you're being attacked by a lot of other targets, then this is somewhat scary. So your main goal should be once you finish the Drakes to buy yourself some time to reset your Malevolent Strike stacks. So you may have noticed a moment ago I sort of kited around a little bit. Uh, use your teleport if you need to, all that stuff, any movement speed you have. And especially if Halfus gets stunned, um, you can kite at that time and hopefully buy yourself enough time to get your stack to drop. You'll also want to make sure you use your um, Elusive Brew at a proper time. So if you have 10 seconds on Malevolent Strike and you have 10 or more stacks on the Brew, then obviously that's a great time to increase your Avoidance and try to get that stack to drop. Uh, but yeah, other than that, this fight is pretty basic. So that is Halfus Solo 10-Man for Monk. As usual, good luck and thanks for watching.